Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another Ford Ranger electric update. This isn't really an update, but uh, I did want to introduce you to someone. So uh, come on, let's say hi to Tim. So while I have the Ranger sort of jacked up still, I wanted to talk about Tim or what Ford referred to as the traction inverter module. Now, if you're familiar with EVs, this is something uh, that's called a motor controller. And essentially what it does is it takes power from the battery and it converts it into usable energy for the motor. So you have uh, these uh, power input leads, these two DC power input leads coming from the battery. Uh, there's, a, there's a coupler right here uh, that leads to the battery. And from there, there are three AC power leads that go out into the main traction motor. Uh, and essentially what this does is it just tells the motor how much power uh, to apply to the wheels. And, uh, and like I said, this motor controller, this is really a common thing within all EVs. Uh, technically you don't need that if you have like a DC motor, you can control it with what's called a potentiometer, which will, you know, hook up to your hook up to your accelerator pedal and it will uh, send voltage and amperage to the motor and the more voltage uh, the faster it spins the more uh, amperage the more power but these AC motors are a lot more advanced than that uh, and this uh, motor controller this Tim is developed by uh, Ballard Power Systems and uh, it's rated at a 67 kilowatt continuous power rating, uh, about 100 horsepower. Uh, but the motor that it's paired with, according to Ballard, uh, is 67 kilowatt peak. But we know that that's not actually the case. This Siemens motor, even though we don't have the spec sheets for it, I haven't seen them published or available anywhere. Uh, even in uh, Idaho Laboratories testing, they showed it peak power of up to like 87 kilowatts. In other testing, I've seen it up to 100 kilowatts with other motor controllers. So the, the motor is actually capable of closer to uh, the peak power that this this traction inverter module, this uh, Ballard Power Systems uh, controller is capable of outputting. So uh, it, it really is the, the controller actually that's the constraint to this system. Now this controller is also going to uh, set up some, some interesting constraints and I'll talk about this maybe more when I do my battery design video. Uh, but essentially what it does is it only accepts about 385 volts of input power. And the reason that's important, if you look at most modern EVs, they have 400 volt systems, 400 volt peak system. So even the Chevy Bolt EV, its nominal voltage is 350 volts, but its peak is 400. Now that would kick back an error. It would uh, make this uh, motor controller basically not function. So what I do with the battery, I can't go over that 380 volt peak voltage threshold. Now this motor controller, much like the actual motor itself, is liquid cooled. You can see uh, the tubing running along the side of the frame there. It goes to the radiator at the front. And uh, these will produce a decent amount of heat energy just in losses in terms of converting DC to AC power. Um, but that's another one of the added benefits of having this as an AC motor platform. Uh, and it's something that most of the OEMs do, uh, but DIYers haven't really been able to do uh, electric vehicles with this functionality uh, easily up until recently. But AC motors just are, are very good at uh, regenerative braking. So the Ford Ranger Electric actually has regenerative braking. I haven't been able to test it out myself. I haven't seen a lot of the hard numbers on it, but this uh, traction inverter module will actually take the excess energy from the truck when it's rolling and convert that back into usable electric e energy that's fed back into the battery through this controller. And really, this is one of the things that uh, while it, it's going to make it easier to have a functioning electric vehicle because Ford did all of the work, right? They matched the motor controller from Ballard Power Systems uh, to the Siemens uh, uh, electric motor. Uh, they've, they've done all of the pairing. Just having a paired AC motor and controller right now costs several thousand dollars on the open market. So it was actually cheaper for me to get these Ford Ranger electrics as actual trucks than to try and find a paired 
motor controller system like this. Uh, so I, you know, it's a real big win uh, just to get these trucks basically in a state of functionality. Uh, but the other thing is too, though, what's going to be interesting about this is. I'm going to have a lot of constraints by trying to keep these vehicles stock because I need to make everything else function together. And, you know, just the battery itself, changing the voltage, changing the number of cells within the battery, all of that is going to impact every other piece in this system. So I need to make sure it all works together with this uh, motor controller. Um, and, uh, yeah, and. Uh, I'm hoping that, that that we'll be able to maximize the power out of this motor controller uh, and uh, you know it, it, it'll be a good one. So let me know if you have any questions about this motor controller, if, the, if there's anything that uh, you want to know about it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to keep everything with it pretty much stock. Uh, you know, with the with the new battery, uh, full power, this should be able to put out about 120 to 125 horsepower, I'm guessing, maybe about 90 kilowatts of uh, peak power, which should be plenty for this truck given its usage, uh, you know, given the 12 to 1 gear reduction ratio in the rear, uh, the weight of the vehicle, all of that. It, it shouldn't be underpowered in any way. Yeah, if you have any more... Uh, insight or knowledge or, or sources for information about these uh, Ballard power systems, uh, motor controllers, or these uh, Siemens electric motors for these uh, Ford Ranger electrics, I'd love to hear it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and uh, thank you for watching.